<laughs> How are you feeling right now? Uh, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I overwhelmed. I think. Yeah, I think the race was like so crazy. So I think it's still it's still sinking in. You ever been sure. involved in a photo finish in the 5000 before? Uh, definitely not like that. That was crazy. Yeah, it was exciting and just like the energy of the crowd was was incredible. So it made for it made for a really fun race. Did you ever play out the way you expected the race? Uh, yeah, I did. I think uh, we had talked about, we had kind of thought, like, I feel like Parker will probably take it. Um, so I feel like it played out pretty much, pretty much exactly how I thought. Yeah. It looked like you tried to make a move on the back stretch that, that Ellie kind of countered. Yeah. And did you at that point just be like, all right, I'm just going to kind of play this out a little longer? Yeah, I think I like went through a few scenarios in my head of just like, you know, be flexible of like, will you make a move with like 500, 300, 250, or like wait till the last minute. So it was like a teeny bit breezy on the back stretch too. And I think I was like, okay, just like be patient and wait till the last kind of like 70 meters. Um, but yeah, I didn't quite have that last that last little bit so yeah it was an incre it was incredible to race against her and um, you know even watching her run so fast earlier in the year at Grand Prix and just the season she's been having and like meddling uh, getting the gold medal indoor I've been excited to to race her because she's definitely you know elevated uh, women's distance running. How does this feeling compared to the feeling of like going on maybe yeah, um, wow, that's a good question. Um, definitely different in some ways. I think, you know, in some ways it's like this was like when you've made a team, it's like you, there's almost a little bit more relief in terms of like you kind of like expect that out of yourself. Um, but I also think, you know, Jared and I talk a lot about that of trying to like treat it like another race, like realizing, yes, it is a trials, but like you just want to try to finish as high as you can just as you would in any other race um, and so I think you know I feel really proud of like that in terms of how I competed of just like doing everything you can to try to put yourself in the best position to win the race like whether that means you know like the trials or any other race. At least knowing the success that Ellie had indoors and then the two of you going 1440 in this race at a trial setting a new record, how do you think that sets you up for Paris? Yeah, I mean, I'm really excited. Um, I was just talking to um, Dr. Arnold, who's a doctor with USATF out there, and like we were just talking about, I think I'm just excited for like getting, you know, another good like four to five weeks of training and like I really really want to be competitive on the world stage I feel like I've said that before but I feel like that's kind of the like piece that I really like want to take the jump to the next level and so I think you know again seeing Ellie like win gold indoor and um, compete against a gay like that is super inspiring and I think you know that's something that excites me especially running such a fast race today Thank you. yeah what do you think the US can accomplish on the world stage this year Oh my gosh, I think we can be a really big force. I think the team that we're sending is is incredible and like all three of us have had experience on the global level now, which I think is um, is really exciting. Yeah. I will never say no to somebody who wants to. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.